Hey, I'm Dr. Terence Espinosa. I want to make a quick video to explore one of these features that we talked about in the earlier translation videos, but didn't really go into as much detail as we could, as I could have. So it's, this resource is under Tools, and it's Text Comparison. So you open your Logos, open up Tools, open up Text Comparison, and I'll make this go across the page. So text comparison is uh, is useful because uh, text. It's useful because you can, if you translate, you can see how this verse has been translated across other translations. And here, if you want to add resources, uh, you can click on this little hyperlink here. You can see the resources that you have set from your last search. You can also scroll down and add further resources. So this is Genesis one. This is Old Testament text, not New Testament. So we can click one of our Hebrew Bibles or many Hebrew Bibles, and they'll be added to the list. Codex Sinaiticus, look at that ESV. Uh, skip the Greek New Testament, they won't have it. Uh, but you can also click other English translations uh, and other Hebrew uh, Bibles, and certainly other books you have in your library. Let's get some Septuagint here. Okay, so once you have them all set, they're all here up on top. You click somewhere else, and it will go through and find all these resources for you. So this is Genesis 1.1 in NIV, CEB, NASB, the Net Bible, uh, BHS, another BHS, uh, ESV, Lexham English Bible, Lexham Hebrew Bible, and Septuagint. And you can go even further than this if you wanted to. And so right away, it's it's a, you can you can have just two texts or three texts or a bunch of texts side by side by side. And look, this is amazing. If you're if you know Greek and Hebrew, you can have them right there. And this is a do-it-yourself uh, a text comparison, which is just a fantastic tool. Now, let's say you're going to start in Hebrew and go to Greek. Or you're starting in Greek New Testament and want to go to Hebrew Bible. Uh, if you were here, and let's let's show you what happens. We're in Genesis one, and it has all these books that I chose. What happens if I typed in, um, let's go, well, Matthew 1. Matthew 1. All the Hebrew bits are gone, but the other others stayed. You can then click here. Uh, you can unclick the Hebrew uh, testaments, or you can just leave them there. And you can add, add whichever other text you wanted. That's a lot. And so they have them. Now this way they're not side by side anymore. They are they are up and down. Oh, that's so Malachi. How about Matthew? <laughs> so when you have a certain amount, Logos will just lay it not in columns, but verse by verse, uh, you know, stacked like this, which is another nice, useful way. Now, in this case, what I could do is go back and unclick the Bibles that aren't actually Greek or English or New Testament. So it's no Hebrew Bible. There you go. Click with that. Septuagint. Matthew. Uh, okay. All right. Let's see if that goes back. There you are. Back to columns again. Well, there you are. So uh, you can you can do this for columns. And as you saw before, if you have a certain amount uh, of resources checked, then they'll go to a different format just for ease of use. But this is, a, a, again, an amazing tool to use, especially if you know some Greek and Hebrew and want to check your work. Yeah, so this is just a great tool uh, to use. I want to show you that and show you how to get there without going through a Hebrew or Greek Bible first. If, if, it's, if it's Refresh Logos just freshly opened, you can click on Tools and Text Comparison and then start clicking on entering verses that you want to enter. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you next time. God bless you.